Well, this is St Michael Mound. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny Cornish day. And all these people here are waiting for a boat. And some people can't be bothered to wait, so they're waiting for the tide to go out. And why? It's because they're giving away a free open day at the Mount. Give the Cornish something free and they'll queue up for hours. Here's the other side of the rocks where people are getting on the little boats. It's like the retreat from Dunkirk. Look all this seaweed on the beach. It really stinks down there. These people are just standing there for hours. So, in the smell. Amazing. Now there's a couple of people there who got about halfway across. Now you'd think because they're wet already, they just say, sod it, I'll get wet up to my knees. Oh, there we are, there's Mary's Iron in the mist. This is all the big cure people waiting for the tide to get out. Boats. There's another one of the little boats. That's Penzance over there. You wouldn't really know it's got a wind turbine, would you? Oh, there's another little boat. And another one. March of the Penguin, this is the March of the Cornish. Oh, he must be from Essex all dressed in white. And guess what? You still can't get across without getting wet ankles. There's a little channel here. There's a boat on the There's about 20 mile an hour wind blowing in the moment, it's quite windy up here. Makes you wonder what it's like leaving Libya. Ready to go. This 
this one's reversing out now, ish. been there. Some people are coming back already. And it's still misty. There is actually some people wind kite surfing thingamajig over in Mounts Bay but you can't see them because it's too cloudy. Right, this is the courtyard up at the top of St Michael's Mount. And it's all pretty boring this bit. Can't really see much and it's a typical example of why the Cornish never do anything on time. So here's a lovely sundial, but because it's misty, you can't tell the time. But if you look over here. Another reason to freak out. Look at that. It's about 100 foot down. It's horrible. There's a view of Marazion. I don't know if you see the wind turbines today because they're white and the sky's white. Well, this is the causeway up to St Michael's Mount, and we're just heading towards Marrow's Iron. But we get to this bit here, and this is storm damage from uh, February 2014, where it just ripped up all the stones. It's a bit tricky now because I'm about to fall in, but if I walk over this way. Now I was chatting to a guy called Mick who uh, I used to know, well, I still know him but I don't know him so well, uh, who works here and he was saying in the past that Causeway was built by criminals. So actually if they just rounded them all up locally, could probably have this fixed in half an hour. Cornish day. There's Marrow's Iron in all its glory and mist. Out across the sea, this is heading towards um, Hendra, looking east. We're calm today, wind's dropped a fair bit. This is heading west now, that's Mausel over there. And then you've got um, Newlyn, and then you've got Penzance. Can't really see any of it, can you? Back into Mary's Iron. Now there's nothing quite like two miles of golden sand. Down here, we have two miles of brown kelp. And it's stick. 